Alberto Hurtado Cruchaga was born in Viña del Mar, Chile, on the 22nd of January 1901. After the death of his father when Alberto was four years old, his mother had to sell, at a loss, their modest property in order to pay for the family's debts. As a further consequence, Alberto and his brother had to go to live with relatives and were often moved from one family to another. From an early age, he experienced what it meant to be poor and without a home. Thanks to a scholarship, he managed to study at the prestigious all-boys Jesuit school of St. Ignacio in Santiago from 1909 to 1917. During this time, he volunteered at the Parroquia Nuestra Señora de Andacoyo, a Catholic parish and school in a poor neighbourhood of Santiago. He assisted in the office and was librarian. From 1918 to 1923, he attended the Pontifica Universidad Católica de Chile, studying in its law school and writing his thesis on labour law and earned his degree in August 1923. Rather than starting a career in law, Hurtado entered the Jesuit novitiate in 1923. In 1925, he went to Córdoba, Argentina, where he studied humanities. In 1927, he was sent to Barcelona, Spain, to study philosophy and theology. But because of the suppression of the Jesuits in Spain in 1931, he went on to Belgium and continued his studies in theology at Louvain. He was ordained a priest there on August 24, 1933, and in 1935 obtained a doctorate in pedagogy and psychology. Right from the early days of his studies in labour law and before becoming a Jesuit, Hurtado had his mind and heart set on tackling social issues and problems. He returned to Chile in January 1936 and began his activity as Professor of Religion at Colegio San Ignacio and of Pedagogy at the Catholic University of Santiago. He was entrusted with the sodality of Our Lady for the students and he involved them in teaching catechism to the poor. There was much social inequality in Chile during this time and conservative Catholics in the nation had difficulty accepting the Vatican's social teachings. In 1936, he authored an article entitled The Priesthood Crisis in Chile, which addressed the problem of the shortage of priests in Chile. He criticised the level of catechism instruction offered in Chile and wrote that young men often signed up as catechists but lacked the necessary certificate. In 1940, he was appointed diocesan director of the Catholic Action Youth Movement and the very next year, its national director. That same year, in 1941, Hurtado's sociology-orientated mind led him to write a book, the book is Chile a Catholic country? The book published statistics revealed a lack of priests assigned to the working class and rural populations, including detailing parishes that had 10,000 lay people assigned for one priest, covering huge geographic areas. Keeping in mind his own origins and ever grateful for the help he and his family received when they were in great difficulties, Hurtado was led to active social involvement. His strong faith was transformed into action with his founding of an organisation called Hogar de Cristo, Home of Christ, took in all children in need of food and shelter, abandoned or not. He also purchased a 1946 green pickup truck and monitored the streets at night to help those in need that he could reach. His own charisma brought him many collaborators and benefactors, 
the movement was a huge success. The shelters multiplied all over the country. It is estimated that between 1945 and 1951, more than 850,000 children received some help from the movement. In 1947, Hurtado entered the labour movement. Inspired by the social teaching of the church, he founded the Chilean Trade Union Association, meant to train leaders and instill Christian values in the labour unions of his country. For them, he wrote the three books Social Humanism, The Christian Social Order and Trade Unions. He served as a confessor to the Falange Nacional, the precursor to the modern Christian Democratic Party. To disseminate the social teaching of the Church and help Christians reflect and act on the serious social problems faced by the country, he founded in 1951 the periodical called Mensaje, Message. He himself published numerous articles and books on labour issues in relation to the Roman Catholic Church. Deeply spiritual, Hurtado was untiring in his work for the workers and the youth, combining intellectual reflection and practical actions. Ever optimistic and joyful, he had also an attractive personality that brought many people to Christ and the Church, young and old, intellectuals and manual workers. One day, in 1952, Father Hurtado was stricken with intense pain and rushed to hospital. He was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Day after day, the media kept the country informed of Hurtado's state of health. Before his death, he had become a national hero. True to the faith he had been professing all through his life, he accepted gracefully what was inevitable. After a brief battle with the illness, he died in Santiago on August the 18th, 1952. Father Hurtado was beatified on October the 16th, 1994 by Pope John Paul II and canonized by Pope Benedict the 16th on October the 23rd, 2005. Alberto Hurtado Cruchaga is one of the most popular and cherished saints in his country, Chile. An indication of his lasting popularity was the presence in St. Peter's Square on the day of Hurtado's canonization of a very large contingent of Chilean people, led by the highest authorities of the country, including the president and some high-ranking Chilean politicians who actually had been Father Hurtado's students during his school teacher time. The Hogar de Cristo he founded still exists and through its fight for social justice, it has become one of the biggest charity groups in Chile. Alberto Hurtado University, located in Santiago and run by the Society of Jesus, preserves his name and strives to bring his legacy into contemporary education and social affairs. Saint Alberto Hurtado used to say, I hold that every poor man, every vagrant, every beggar is Christ carrying his cross, and as Christ we must love and help him. We must treat him as a brother, a human being like ourselves. If we were to start a campaign of love for the poor and homeless, we would in a short time do away with depressing scenes of begging, children sleeping in doorways and women with babies in their arms fainting in our streets. <laughs>